Hi there, Ruben here. In this video, I'm going to run through the download and install process for sample logic libraries and also go through some troubleshooting tips, including a support query that we receive most often, how to make sure presets are installed correctly. Before we start, all sample logic products require a version of contact to run them. Some products require the full version of contact sampler, which you will need to purchase separately from native instruments. Some other products will run in the free contact player available to download from the Native Instruments site at no cost. Before you buy from Sample Logic, check that you have the correct version of Contact. Many of our support queries are about this and you can easily tell which version of Contact you need on each library's product page under the technical specifications. In this video, I'll be looking at libraries which require the full retail version of Contact. So that's products including Motion Keys, Cinematic Guitars Motion, Modern Animated Percussion, Drum Fury, Exosphere 2, Arpology Cinematic Dimensions, Trailer Expressions 1 and 2, Expeditions, All Loop Session Series Products, Waterharp 2, Stadium Instruments and Thunder Springs. Once purchased, you'll receive a download code. In this case, it's for Motion Keys. Copy and paste this code into the Connect Installer app and click on the Download button. If Connect hangs or fails at any point during the download, you can quit it and restart. It should pick up at the point that it left off. In rare cases, you may need to reset the entire download. To do this, paste the code again if necessary, hold shift and hit this button to reset. Wait until Connect downloads all of the parts of the library. After this, do not quit out of Connect. Wait until the installation process completes. At the very end, a message will pop up asking if you'd like to keep or delete the RAR files. That's up to you, but you won't need them again, so go ahead and trash them. If you need to request download links as a last resort, log into your Sample Logic account and go to My Downloads, or email us directly to request at support at samplelogic.com. I'll copy my download folder to the Sample Library drive, but you can put your own download wherever you like. During the install process, a presets folder will have been created and moved to the correct location on your system. For Mac users, navigate to your boot drive, users, your own username, documents, native instruments, then contact 5 for contact 5 users or contact for contact 6 users. You'll see a folder prefixed presets and then the product name, motion keys in this case. If you've had a problem with using connect to install or you've tried to manually install the product, then you may not see the preset folder. And we get lots of support queries about this, with users opening up the instrument and not seeing any presets. This is very easy to rectify. Just find the presets folder in the product download and copy it to within the contact 5 or contact folder, as I'm showing here. For PC users, it's your boot drive, users, your own username, documents, native instruments, then contact 5 or contact. Copy the preset folder there and you should be all set. Sample logic libraries for the full version of contact will not show up in the contact libraries panel on the left hand side. To load the library, open up your version of contact, either drag in the instrument files you need or find them within the Contact Files browser and everything should load as it should. Again, I'll emphasize, if you can't see any presets in the Sample Logic Instrument browser, rewind this video for a couple of minutes and follow the process of copying them over to the right folder on your boot drive. One last note, if you want to move your Sample Logic library to a different drive on the same computer, then go ahead, everything should be fine. However, if you're migrating that library to a new computer, then you'll need to remember to copy the presets folder to the right location too. Just follow the steps as before. For further help, head to samplelogic.com and click the support tab at the top where we have an FAQ section and support ticket system. Thanks for watching. 